Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, Brie, Brimona, Brianna, and we are back again with the next episode of my Love Struck mini series. And all of this was filmed on my Twitch channel, so definitely make sure to follow there and check out the series live. But I am very excited to get back into it with another episode. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode if you haven't seen it live already. And definitely make sure to subscribe down below for some more videos in this series as well. So let's just stop chatting and let's get on with the video. For today's episode, since she's, you know, been going to work for her new career, since she's working in romance, they literally are like, hey, like there's certain places that you should check out out you know that you can meet other people other singles you know and she's still on the mission to get on you know the dating apps to find someone but I was thinking I was like yeah so if we're going out where do we meet people at you know I was thinking that she could join like a like a gym like a class you could do at like the gym but I was also thinking why don't we do a cooking class so we could sign up for that and then we can have some people like join in so I think that we'll sign up for like the cooking class and then hopefully we can have them like go and then we could like meet everybody in the cooking class so I don't know we're gonna have to see but I thought that that'd be fun we can have like a cooking class we can go to so um it is eight in the morning I believe everybody gotta go to work oh yeah another great thing I updated all of my mods I am so happy um Maeve is going to go into work um Imani is going to go into work and then Hazel is gonna work from home because we're gonna focus with our girl Hazel and I updated all my mods it took me all day I can't even remember what day it was but it took me all day so no more little like ui like mess ups i updated everything i literally found out why my game was breaking took out that freaking mod i was like man you were the problem and it, it was like a mod i wasn't even using but it was good to have and my game took it out <laughs> So I am happy. Watch reality TV dating, research forms of intimacy. Okay, let's just watch the reality dating show. Let's just do that. Oh, okay, since I added all my mods again, I forgot that we need the internet access. So let's do that. I forgot all the mods. Oh my, you don't even understand. After I updated my mods, and I came back in my game, it was still low-key kind of broken because the UI was still broken and I couldn't really like move. And then my font wasn't working, my font replacement, that wasn't working. So I'm like, bro, what can it be now? And then I had to go through all my mods again. And I was like, oh, this is annoying. <laughs> and I was like, bro, I'm about to cry, bro. This is not it. But thank goodness I found what it was. Now we have the internet. We are going to get Wi-Fi password. Can we even get the password? Okay, so power service has not been set up yet for this house. Set up your home services and the bills app. Lord, all these mods and I have to reset them up. Your services have not been set up yet. Set up home services. Okay, can we open it like this? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Home services. Full welcome package. Includes power, water, garbage. Includes um, cable, cell phone, internet. Um, premium. Let's just do the premium package. Now, can we use it? Yeah, nice. Okay, I set it up. What is she doing? Oh yeah, we have to watch the, what is it? The reality dating TV show. There we go. You can sit down and watch the TV. What is Maeve doing? I thought you were going to work. Is she playing in the trash? Ma'am, it's not the time. It's not the time. And isn't she supposed to be going to work as well? Oh yeah, I did change the work outfits. So this is Maeve's work outfit. So cute. She looks like a little writer. Oh, it's so good. I love the outfits. And then um, I did change Amani's outfit. This actually isn't the outfit I chose for her, but I mean, she could wear that instead. Actually, wait, let me see. Can I change her into the outfit? It was this one. Oh yeah, it was this one. This one is so cute. This is her work outfit. Cause she's a little influencer. So that, you know, she needs to be all trendy and whatnot. So yeah, we got that. So yeah, the girls are going to go into work and then Hazel is going to work from home. And yeah, we're going to just at least get this kind of done with. And we're going to see about joining a cooking club. So I think that that would be cool. Ma'am, did you finish that? She didn't even finish. She watched one hour. Oh Lord. Watch the TV. No yoga. Come back. 
and watch this. And then we also need to research forms of in intimacy for two hours. I think we'll probably do that maybe after the cooking club or whatever. But I think we'll probably like sign up for the cooking club today and then we'll probably go to it tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking. We'll go to it tomorrow. But for today, we're going to finish setting up Hazel's dating profile and then <laughs> we're going to go out on a date today. Oh, hopefully, hopefully, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm nervous. Uh -huh. I'm nervous for the girl. Oh, overwhelmed with romance lately and feels compelling desire to embody the essence of a love bug. I don't want to do it now because I like her being romantically reserved for now. If it comes up again, then we might switch it. But I like her being romantically reserved at this moment because, yeah, I like her to be like slow to warm up. You know, I, I like that for her. I want that for her. I want that. Did you finish? Okay, nice. Alrighty. So now, since she finished that, we are going to open up Cupid's Corner again. And it should work this time. It should work. I'm going to say just in case, but it should work this time. She's kind of like, okay, well, I'm going to go on the apps. <laughs> We're going to see who's out and about. <laughs> And yeah, we need to change this photo though. Oh, that's actually a cute one, but I don't want it to change. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, wasn't I gonna do this one? But then it like broke. So maybe we'll do this one. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna put romantically reserved. I have all my traits in here. I don't know. Maybe we'll put natural born dancer. We'll do that one. And then we'll do prefer exclusive romantic relationships. I don't know. Maybe we'll do those two. Sounds like a good trait. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool trait then. Okay, let's see what matches she gets. Oh, she has Colton. Okay, so she has met Colton before. The fir very first episode, I believe, when we were at the club, she met Colton there. So, I mean, we can go out with him. This is her ex-boyfriend. Why does he keep popping up? This is Jin Ho. Jin, he don't even live here. Okay, he he freaking moved. So no, we don't want him. Like, why is he popping up in our dating profile? But yeah, no, we don't want. I wish we could like block someone, you know? Like block him. Freaking Jin Ho. Oh, and I did download a mod for the Love Shark pack. Modders are going insane. They already have like mods and stuff for the new pack. So this new one, I can refresh as many times as I want and then just kind of pick through people. People. So it's kind of like you, you keep going and like, you know, like swiping through. So I thought that that was like more realistic instead of being like, oh yeah, you can't see another, any other matches for like, what was it like 12 hours or something? Like, I don't remember, but I was like, no. <laughs> Is it Yuji? He's a daredevil and serious. I mean, he might be cool to check out. Oh, this is a turnoff. Technophobe and jealous. Oh, she, mm -mm. he's an artisan and a snob. I don't think she would go with a snob. No. Oh, Tyree. He's a bookworm and a genius. Okay. Did I have three? Because I want to have three. Okay, nice. We have three. Not the hair, right? Some of them I'm like, yeah, no. I don't know if we're going to go on all three dates or like ask them all out on a date. I think we'll probably just like pick from the three and see which one we like. Mason. He is kind of cute though. But he looks kind of like her ex, so no. <laughs> we have Tyree, Colton, and Yuji. I think that we'll probably go with Colton because she has seen him and met him before already. That's why we can't add him to our contacts because we've already chatted with him at the club. So I think that it'd be cool to go out with him, but he's kind of materialistic. So, <laughs> so we'll ask him to create a date. We'll see. We'll see what he says. He better not come to this date with some flip flops on. I feel like a get to know you date would be good. Hmm. Should we go to the, I'm just thinking, where should we go? Should we go to the restaurant? Oh, wait, actually, let me see what I'm over here thinking. Like what areas we have? So not the nightclub, it's not the gym we went there but yeah i did download a park so we could do that and i downloaded a cafe and then a restaurant okay so maybe we'll go to the cafe okay so if we're going to the cafe we'll socialize be friendly we'll be romantic let's see maybe we'll eat some food i'm ready i'm ready okay so we are actually on this date with colton let's see what she's thinking hazel and roll um and, and we'll be more efficient at creative skills uh watch romantic comedy okay so yeah she's kind of flirty and not that i love you off the bat kind of crazy <laughs> give unsolicited love advice maybe we won't do that at our first interaction with him <laughs> 
Uh, maybe we'll have some small talk. Um, ask about his career. I want to ask about his day, actually. Whoops. So she's like, oh, hey, um, do, do you remember me? He's like, yeah, like, did it be me like a couple of days ago? Like, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. He's like, oh, and I, and I just happened to see you on this dating profile. That'd be cool just to ask you out, you know? <laughs> you want to go out and get some drinks or whatnot? Not her scaring him. Kind of crazy. Oh, Lord. And her laughing about it. Kind of wild. So this is um, a lot that I downloaded. Oh, actually, I believe I have the lot here. All right. So this is the lot that we're at. It's a cat. It's um, like a little area for a cafe and another little area for like a library. Uh, so this is a creator if you want to check it out. But yeah, pretty nice build. We're not going to go to the library section. We're going to go to this um, cafe little section. So we're actually just going to come on over here and maybe let's see oh my gosh is he heartbroken oh did he get through a heartbreak too i guess <gasps> what he left the day after receiving too many mean or mischievous interactions from hazel we just got here we spooked him once okay but like he was that upset that he left <laughs> oh my god Really? <laughs> we didn't even sit down yet. Oh man, horrible date. That was a rough date. It wasn't even a date. We didn't even go inside. We didn't chat. We didn't do anything. Oh Lord, that's crazy. Okay, well, on to the next. <laughs> okay, where's the next guy? <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Oh Lord. He left before, he literally left before it even started. All right, well, let, let's see. So, should we like just like just tell the other guy to just meet us here? <laughs> she don't have to say, sound angry about it. It's crazy to just like go back to back, you know? Now where is she going? <laughs> is she gonna go meet him? Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Nice. Um, uh, so we're gonna call him over. I guess we'll come in here. What is this? Some milk? That boy needs some milk. Oh my gosh, it's the guy we were talking to at the club. He's here. Oh my gosh, there's Naomi. <laughs> there's <laughs> Oh, my sins for my other LP are here, bro. It's so good. Okay, can we talk to him? What, I can't even talk to him? I can only give him a funny gift. She is not feeling it, bro. He's like, uh, are you okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is it? Bro, they're not vibing with with her at all. I was about to say Naomi because I see her right there. They're not vibing with Hazel at all. It won't even let me like talk to him. I feel like this isn't going well and I can't really talk to him at all. Okay, you know what? To save my girl, we are we we're just going to end it because I, like, I can't really talk to him at all. I was about to say, can I like talk to Naomi and David, you know, since they're here? It's so weird not playing them. My babies. It's like being a parent and see your kids grow up. It feels so weird not playing them. But, um, oh, wait, we know him. We know this man. <gasps> wait, I'm gonna have her talk to him because how is he here of all places? You know? Yo, so, um, Hazel's kind of, um, passing by after she got some, uh, food to try to make her feel better after these, uh, non successful dates. And she passes by Christian, who we met literally at the gym yesterday so i feel like she would like at least say hi to him why is he super tense oh wait he got a new job congratulate on new job she's actually very sad though i feel like he would probably like ask her like hey like what's wrong <laughs> why are you sad and she would be like why are you super tense <laughs> oh is that the love of her life hold on why are they just here she's not even talking to her i feel like didn't he look a little different at the gym i feel like she wouldn't really like notice him or would she notice him i don't know like but I feel like she's not one to like intrude when other people are talking or whatever. Do you think that she would like talk to him? Because, okay, so in last episode, she fell in love with Alden at first sight. This is the love of her life. But look, she barely even know the man's. But he literally passed by her, sat down and started talking to this other girl. So I'm like, does she interject and like try to talk with him? Or does she still like, you know, talk with Christians and she's already talking with him? 
I don't know. I feel like she'd be a little shy. Can we vent a little bit to him? Emotional release from venting with a friend. Feeling a sense of release and relief after getting out emotions that were bottled up inside. <gasps> Yo, that's so cute because Loki, I kind of want to set them up, but I want it to be kind of natural. I don't want to like force you, but I kind of want to. But uh, yeah, she kind of like considers him like, you know, maybe like a good friend or well, someone that could be a good friend because they kind of just met not too long ago. But she was happy to be able to vent out her frustrations with these past dates to him. And I love that for her. But I feel like we gonna leave because two bad dates and everybody's over here um i feel like we about to leave oh showing photo and pictures of recent date could be kind of funny <laughs> who was this dude like he's like yeah dude's trash bro dude's trash i say goodbye to him and yeah we gonna we gonna leave i feel like that's cool like she just moved here met someone new you know i like outside of like her friends and whatnot like I love that for her. So maybe we can you know, greet Amani and tell her about, we tell her about the the date we had. Not as to have a science, baby. Kind of crazy. No, don't you dare get up right when I sit down. Amani could probably ask Hazel like what she was up to. Like, what was she doing? Um, She's like, oh, I thought you were working from home. Like you were, you went out. She's like, yeah, I just was like, went out early. Um, Tried to go out on a date today. But yeah, they freaking left. So I think she's going to like tell her um, about how the date went. And she's going to show the pictures as well. Rizalek. Oh. Oh Lord, now she's attracted to her? Kinda wild. Oh, oh no. Oh wait, hold on. Does it say Hazel was attracted to her as well? Oh and now is attracted to Amani. Oh, okay. Jeez Louise. Well, anyways, um, uh, I'm gonna have Amani get food and she's gonna go right to bed because she's already tired. And then we'll have Hazel go to the bathroom and then we'll set up what do you call it? Um the cooking club. Um we're gonna have her finish this up. I don't even know how long she's been doing this for. Anthony's calling her. Hey Amani, it's me, Anthony. You gave me your number the other day. Do you want to go on a date? <laughs> oh, oh, I, I don't know. Do we? I, I, I feel like yes, we would go because we went out to the club with him. She was really vibing with the other guy, but then found out that he was taken. So I mean, I feel like Amani would. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow evening. Okay, see you tomorrow then. Save the day. Hey Hazel, we'd love to have you join the page turners. Why is everybody asking the one person who would join the page turners? Which is Maeve. We're not interested in that. No one has ever called Maeve and asked her. All right, yeah, you can go to sleep too. So when Hazel wakes up, we're gonna have to read this um, cooking club. Well, I... Hello? We got a promotion. We got promoted to passion assistant. Hazel's been promoted to passion assistant. Um, she has also received, oh, I was reading that. She has also received the bonus shared romantic satisfaction tips. And we got some more monies. Okay, nice. Well, we've been promoted, yo, W. Promoted in our sleep. All right, you can wake up now. All righty, so now we're gonna make some food and then we're gonna set up the cooking club. And of course, we'll probably be, we'll probably be the host of the club just so we can always have it. But um, yeah, I added in this mod where you can have like a lot more different clubs. So, oh, she's not even qualified for this one. <laughs> 10 types of people, those who understand binaries and those who don't. Wow, um, I'm not that kind of person then, I guess. <laughs> oh, a singles meetup club. Ooh, there is no way that Jinho is in this club. <laughs> this man is everywhere. Oh, Lord. What does it say? Welcome to singles meetup. I'm happy that you decided to join our club. We're having a club gathering and would love for you to introduce yourself to the group. We're all going to eight bells. You should meet us at the bar. Uh, we want to go out tonight. Do you want to come? Uh, no. Why is Jinho even in this club, bro? Forget that, man. 
forget that man shoes club hangout oh yeah the new world and then the rec center requirements so i guess teen young adult adult elder club activities so we'll do cook and then we'll do be friendly and then the picture for it let's see is there like one for like cooking i mean there's an the oven but it's kind of bland carrot uh, some cheese oh lord oh which i that perfect so let's just say i added in random sims except for christian for a good reason <laughs> but let's just say that uh she just joined the club and didn't know who was uh, in the club as of yet. She just like saw online that, oh yeah, I could just join like a club, you know, it might be a good way to meet new people, new singles and whatnot. And maybe we can invite Maeve, like, why don't we just say, oh Maeve, yeah, we're gonna go to the cooking club that I joined today. You should definitely come, you know, you could definitely join me if you want. She's like, oh, I don't feel like cooking. And she's like, well, it's gonna be at the rec center. So they definitely have like a library there as well. If you want to like, just go to the library. She's not okay i'm down with that <laughs> oh wait a minute may oh she's feeling a little off she isn't sure what's wrong she has a bacterial disease oh better rest and take it easy for a while this isn't going away tomorrow rest home remedies and medication make a difference but it's something stronger antibiotics are available from the doctor not maybe having a severe disease that's crazy um so maybe it may won't come with us <laughs> Oh my Atlanta. She's basically probably just gonna tell Hazel she's not feeling up to it. Yeah, we're gonna actually gonna go out to the cooking club. I guess maybe it's gonna stay here because she's sick. Um, she got some kind of infection and we do not want to catch that. So we're gonna have her stay here and then we're gonna go with Hazel off to the cooking club. So let's actually start a gathering and we're gonna gather at the area. And I don't even have outfits for them. Oh man, it'd be so cool to have outfits for them. Alrighty, so this popped up. Uh, Hazel, is she cheerful? I would say so. We're gonna have everybody come here together. Alrighty, so um, I actually had this itching feeling to have everybody in their cooking outfits. So I went through and added in everybody their own cooking wear. So we're gonna have them all changed and Halo, she just made it you know to the rec center and she's coming over here to um start the club and she's really excited about it because she likes to cook but she thinks it'll be nice you know to try some new things out and so we're coming over here and she's looking like oh my gosh wait christian what are you doing <laughs> What are you doing here? And um, hello, she's attracted to Janice? Like, what the heck? Yeah, I actually kind of added in this this stuff here. I, I kind of updated it a little bit. This cooking class looks cute. I like it. I literally thought of that. Well, I asked my chat, chat GBT boyfriend what I should do for my story. And he told me to have a like cooking club or cooking class. So I was like, that's a good idea. Thanks, boyfriend. <laughs> okay, literally it was taking me so long to find this, but this is the creator who made this rec center and I actually like updated, made some updates and changes to it, but definitely check it out if you would like. Amazing, amazing work. Let me actually save this in my library so I can still have it. But the only thing, this was supposed to be like a wedding area, I think, but I deleted it out because I was like, I'm not going to use it. And we added in this little cooking room, which also I did not do this myself. <laughs> I love downloading people's people's things, you know, so I actually added in this cooking classroom right here and I just made like some adjustments and added things to it. So I basically kind of added in this little like pantry area with all the food. We added like some other stuff like a fridge and whatnot. But yeah, we're gonna have everybody come in. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. So yeah, she's literally gonna be like, oh my gosh, like why is Christian here? Yeah. Like what the heck? And she's gonna be like, um, hello? Like did I just talk with you? Actually, we're gonna have Janice here be the like chef, like the head chef who's gonna be like teaching the class. So yeah, this is Janice and we're actually going to, we're not gonna vent to her. We're probably just like, um, oh, congratulate on a new job. This must be a new job that she got. Like, congrats, Janice. And we are really excited to start cooking. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. Oh, uh, we're going to have everybody change first. Alrighty, so yeah, we got everybody changed now. And we're gonna start cooking. Let's cook a meal. And I feel like Janice, she's probably just gonna say, you know, like since this is the first day 
Um, we're pretty much just gonna, you know, just, we don't want to go too hardcore into any like meals or anything. Just make your favorite dish and we're gonna vote on, you know, who's gonna have the most popular dish. This is just gonna be like the first one where we just, you know, practice, make whatever kind of dish that you want to make. It doesn't have to be like great. Actually, I don't even know uh, what skill she has of cooking. What is her cooking skill? Oh, she's level two. Okay, I'm glad she joined this class. Okay, so I'm gonna have everybody probably just like cook something. Maybe he could make that Yorkshire pudding and then he can make mac and cheese. Just mac and cheese. I don't know. And then cook custom meal. We'll have him do the cucumber soup. We'll have a uh, Christian do the cucumber sandwich. So yeah, Hazel's kind of looking like, hmm. So Christian's here. Like, why do I keep running into this man, you know? You know, like, that's kind of what she's thinking. And Hazel, she just wants to, like, really speak with Janice a lot more because she, she just wants to be really good, like, friends with her. Let's see, what is Hazel going to make, though? Oh, strawberry feta salad with pecans? <laughs> Smoked salmon sandwich. Ooh. Okay, maybe we'll make this salad with the pecans. Uh, we'll do a family size. Hazel, she's you know just trying to. She's just trying to like socialize more. She definitely wants to be really close with like Janice, but Janice is like, okay, Hazel. Well, hopefully you uh, do well. Uh, just make anything that you want to make. You know, like this is just the first class. Bruh, I'm about to delete this door. No, you better not leave. You better not. Why is it so difficult? All right, I leave the door so they can't leave. I'm actually gonna have Christian. Oh, he's actually kind of awkward from using low level skill with strength. Oh, because he's not that skilled. I'm actually gonna have him just come over and talk to Hazel because he just sees, you know, that she's over there just cooking. You know, he'd be like, hey, you know, I actually just saw you earlier today. She's like, yeah, I know. Are you stalking me or something? <laughs> he's like, no, what are you talking about? Like, I did not know you want to join this like cooking club, you know? Cozy. Oh, she does not like how she looks. Oh man, did we finish? Oh, wait, 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 we finished? Okay, okay, okay. Wow, so this is what she made. Yo, okay. And then this is what Christian made. Christian made the cucumber <laughs> sandwiches. And then what did the other people make? What did he make? Did he not make anything? Okay, I'm gonna have, um, what's this guy's name? Elliot. So I'm gonna have Elliot make something. Cause I think the other guy, he, something happened with his nail or something. I don't know. Like he just, yeah, it wasn't working. I feel like he would make a dessert. Maybe. Get that struggle. <laughs> yeah. Don't be talking about Christian's struggle meal. Bro, I don't want to be like, he gonna make fried chicken, but yo, I want to see how this looks. Oh, are you stuck? Grab a custom stack. Okay, there we go. All right. Did, wait, 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 what is he doing with my salad? Oh, he's putting it in the fridge. Okay. I'm about to say my guy. Not the bucket of chicken. Not the bucket of chicken. She's eating it. Oh my gosh. Christian is, he's feeling very awkward right now. But yeah, Christian's just probably just gonna tell Janice, like, you know, I enjoyed, uh, you know, the, the class and whatnot, but I, I don't know, like, I'm just, I'm just not skilled enough. You know, I'm not skilled enough. The only thing I can make is a dang sandwich. And she's gonna be like, oh, it's fine, Christian, it's fine. You know, like, we're gonna actually learn how to make a lot of other, like, foods and a lot of other things. So yeah, he's probably just gonna, gonna complain. Oh, here we go. Uh, friendly vent. So we're gonna vent about I guess insecurities that, that could be kind of close. You know, he's gonna just talk about like how he wasn't, you know, like, oh man, I'm not that good. And then Hayes is gonna be like, yeah, me neither. Like, you know, I just made a salad. Like, <laughs> he's right. He's not skilled enough after what I <laughs> saw. <laughs> from using a low level skill with strength this skill is too easy for hazel to work on oh like so, so she's just like she wants to be challenged or something she's like oh it's just too easy for me it's too easy she wants to be challenged man's put my food away but i actually can i open how do you open the fridge so he literally put my salad in here and now i can't even grab it out oh my gosh oh <laughs> because now i want to have everybody like try out their their creations Oh, nom, nom, nom. She said nom nom nom. <laughs> okay, so everybody's gonna eat their foods. So yeah, Hazel's gonna be like, oh man, like um, I can't wait for us to try like something new and more challenging. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm actually gonna give them the door back and then people can leave now because I'm gonna end the 
gathering because Amani has a date to go to. So we got to go on the date with Amani. Alrighty, so now we're just going to leave. And y'all, I, I would want Hazel to go out on another date, but I don't know, y'all. These men, trash. Everywhere we look trash <laughs> all righty so we are gonna head on home so um we're actually gonna switch on over to amani so amani did get a call from anthony earlier in the day i'm asking if she wanted to go on a date since i wasn't planning amani i don't know when he was gonna call us back to go on the date but he did say he was free tomorrow which is you know today and he we did tell him we're free in the evening so it's eight o'clock. It's pretty much the evening. So we're just going to ask him to create a date with the money. And we're going to go out with Anthony. We're going to be romantic. I feel like since they've already went out already, I don't want to get to know you because we've already we already know him. Like we already like talked with him and we went out to the club last episode. This is going to be a date date. So we're going to be romantic. I feel like we'll get some physical intimacy. We're going to go out and get food, maybe get some drinks. Alrighty, so is this his outfit? Would he wear this to the date? Look, not the slippers, bro. Please, not the slippers. <laughs> okay, that looks a little better. That looks a little better. Okay, nice. <laughs> well, anyways, Amani is basically just gonna say um hello. Just talk talk to him. And look who it is. It is Bentley, the guy who rejected her. Oh my gosh. And of course he's running away. This sucker. <laughs> we'll get to know him and we'll basically just say like, oh, what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> that boy? The deep voice. Can we flirt with him some? Do you like what you see? <laughs> Look at her. Oh, I thought he said no, like I don't not like what I see, but he said you look good. How about we go someplace for the two of us? What do you mean? We're just gonna come in here. We're gonna request a table. Cloud watching inside of the store. What what are y'all looking up at the wall? Oh wait, actually there's a big old hole right here. There's a big old gaping hole. There's no way this man changed again. Oh I literally gave you this outfit, bro. So um, we're just going to say that he's ordering for the table, you know, he's going to be a gentleman. Long Island iced tea. Oh, we got some drinks on here. A screwdriver. Yikes. Um, tequila sunrise. Let's get that. Are we drinking tonight? <laughs> the main course a bean and cheese burrito, a tomato wrapped veggie burrito, a chicken burrito. Why are these burritos over here? Taco taco casserole, we'll probably give that to Amani. And then we'll do fish tacos for him. So yeah, we're basically just gonna um, chat with him more. I'd be like, oh, so like after the club, like you were still thinking, you know, about me and whatnot. He's I'm like, yeah, I just, I, I thought I, you know, shoot my shot, you know, like. And she's like, oh, well, I'm glad you did. I really enjoyed hanging out with you. Not, ooh, not having a baby, I almost clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> Confess attraction. Yeah, we'll just be like, yeah, we think you're, I think you're really attractive, you know? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Romantic satisfaction begins. Amani and Anthony have a strong romantic relationship and will now each have independent romance satisfaction levels. <laughs> Literally, I think he asked her. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, woohoo to poo. It's always nice to ask her for woohooing. <gasps> so she asked him if he wanted to woohoo. <laughs> And then he said, yes, I can't wait, Amani, you bad girl. <laughs> I think they're bringing our food out soon. So, uh, can I speak? I think they're bringing our food out soon. What? He's eating? Where is the food? I don't see it. She's hungry. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. Anthony is sort of falling for Amani and wants to ask her if she would like a relationship. Do you want this to happen? Mans, can we finish the date? Can we finish the date first, my mans? Oh, okay. I like them together, but like we got to go out again. No, like he knows what he wants, bro. Like I feel like Amani, I feel like, okay. 
Amani would probably be like, well, okay, let's just say that he asked her like, hey, you know, like I'm really like vibing with you. Like, I think that, you know, we would be like pretty great together. Like, wouldn't you say like, I feel like he would kind of say it in like a flirtatious kind of like joking kind of way, but being like serious. And Amani would be like, oh, well, you seem pretty cool. Like, you just got to know me some more, you know, like you got to like, 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 let's get to know each other some more and then I'll see how I feel. Like, that's how I'm kind of thinking you know so we're gonna say not right now oh but they're good friends though which is great she's smelling the food oh she's eating it okay i don't know how she's eating it dang he wants to be with us well with us with the mommy he wants to be with the mommy now since you know he wants to be in a relationship with us i feel like we need to ask this man ask him about physical attraction he did say he likes what he sees but we need to know specifically so in a partner he likes dark blue hair, boho fashion, gray clothes, and he's turned off by blue clothes. Okay. <laughs> All right, dude. I feel like Amani always has like, she has a lot of be better dates than Hazel. Like, <laughs> he is blushing hardcore, bro. He blushing, blushing, bro. Um, We want to learn, we want to ask how he attractive he thinks we are. All right, what do you think about us? Since you asked, I do find you attractive. <laughs> Yay! We got someone who finds Amani attractive. Being compared to a work of art has Amani feeling frisky. Oh, he said she's beautiful like a work of art, bro. Okay. Somebody likes me. The world looks a little bit brighter today since Amani found out that someone finds her attractive. That is so cool. Oh, so Amani's like heck of giddy, bro. Like, oh, wow. What happened? Oh, uh, Amani and Anthony are both very satisfied in their relationship. Okay, so we learned about his turn on and turn offs and Amani's very satisfied, but she, oh, she thinks like he's neutral. She doesn't find him as attractive though, but he's really feeling her. All right, we need to know about this. Like how satisfied is he? Like, she just wants to know like, okay, so you know, like if, for, for instance, if we like get into a relationship, like how satisfied, you know, like would you be? She just trying to, ooh, she really just is, to be honest. Oh, he's feeling very satisfied. He's like, yeah, like I think you would be like a vibe. Like, <laughs> it's awfully warm in here. And Amani and Anthony can't seem to keep their hands off each other. Yes. Amani's <laughs> like, you did not just. That got me by surprise, bro. So we're gonna invite him to stay the night. I'm just gonna say we're gonna watch the stars with Anthony. They had a good date though. This is like the first time I had a good date in this game. All of my dates ended hecka early. <gasps> okay, so y'all would not believe who Amani sees when she walks out here. Bentley, you know, the guy that she was fighting with in the last episode? He cuddled up with this girl, and if my memory serves me right, this might be the fiance. Honey's gonna be like, wow, that is crazy. And I think she wants to like come out here and like sit close to Anthony and like, you know, just kind of vibe with him to kind of like, you know, make him jealous or something, you know? Like that's something Amani would totally do. Like, look at that, that's crazy. She'll be a point to the stars. Like she don't know that he behind her. Amani, please. Oh Lord, W toxic. <laughs> Literally, it's insane. That's toxic. Literally, it's so toxic, bro. Alrighty, so um, we're actually just gonna head back home. So toxic. She's gonna just leave, you know? Like, she ain't even gonna look behind. She's gonna leave. So yeah, it's like four in the morning now. I wanted him to like, well, he, I mean, he's gonna stay over, but I wanted him to at least like bring, like make sure, you know, like they were able to like come home together. Not work starts with him in an hour. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he worked at 5 a.m.? Sir, you, <laughs> you're messing up the plot. Like, <laughs> he at least wanted to, you know, like walk her home. She was like, hey, you know, since you walked all the way over here, it is four in the morning. You should definitely spend the night. Like, what if something happens to you? I can't let you go back home at four in the morning. Like, that is so crazy. He's just going to be like, okay, yeah, like, sure. Like, I could definitely like spend the night. And then like, you know, as they're like talking, whatever, <laughs> you get a little switch on the forehead. <laughs> 
Fortnite difference is crazy, bro. You know, Monty did want that woohoo, so uh, let's have them go here together. But um, I do want her to uh, go to the restroom. Why does he love being picked up? <laughs> this man loves being picked up right now. It was, it's crazy to me. Okay, so they're go they're coming in. She's like, oh my gosh, like my roommates are probably asleep. Like, don't be loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like he would probably like like while he's waiting. Let's see if he would like wear a playful costume. Let's just do a random one. Like, he just sees that she has like some costumes in her room and he's like, oh, like, let me uh change it to one. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Okay, do a different one. Wait, what is he like a mailman or something? Wait, oh, what's this cupid one look like? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> with the sandals and i'm on here when i go out the bathroom like wait what do you got on right now like he's like what <laughs> i just thought i'd try out these costumes <laughs> oh my gosh bro okay anyways oh okay y'all can't even see that but this bed it says you can turn the vibrations on kind of wild bro What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's a door. I can't stop laughing right now. What is this? Okay, anyways. Amani's romantic satisfaction with Anthony has changed. Uh oh. Okay, he likes the woohoo with men and women. Okay. Very satisfied. Nice. Okay. Well. I mean, he finds us very attractive. Bro, the vibrations is crazy. It is wild. Well. He's just gonna stay the night. <laughs> Let me actually not control him. Stop making us go watch. <laughs> what else are we supposed to look at? I just want to see if there's anything that changed with the vibrations, though. <gasps> no protection was used. <laughs> A mommy could be <laughs> baby, bro. Yikes. Um. Yeah, we. Yeah. Um. We're not gonna. We're not gonna look at that. Can we turn off these vibrations real quick? Crazy work, bro. Crazy work. That was an insane episode. Yeah, I'm really excited for Hazel. Bro, I can't. This part of the money just have y'all giddy, bro. Like, but anyways, I can't wait for Hazel to, you know, like start getting herself out there, finding maybe someone. Why does Christian keep popping up everywhere? I mean, man's is. I mean, he's chill. I'm shipping him, but I mean, we gotta see. Like, why does he keep popping up everywhere? But Imani had a great day with Anthony and they were really vibing. He really, Anthony really wanted to jump the gun and like be in like a little relationship. Like, you know, start a little something, something. But Imani's like, hey, you know, like, let's get to know each other more. But they freaking woohoo, no protection. Imani could be pregnant. Oh lord, we gonna have to see next episode. But thank you for watching. It's gonna be crazy the next one. Oh yeah. And that was the end of the stream. Oh my. What are we gonna do with Hazel? Is it money with baby? There's just so much going on. I don't know, but definitely stay tuned for the next episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you haven't checked out my Twitch channel, this is where the series is filmed live. So definitely make sure to check out the next one. But other than that, I appreciate you guys for watching. Give it a like, subscribe as well, and stay beautiful and handsome as you already been before. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.